that chicken croissant was going to take me out. It's your girl, Bree, and I'm back again. Hey, y'all. How are y'all doing? So I'm going to give y'all a story time on how Burger King poisoned me. Okay? Yeah, this gets crazy. So before we even get started, make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like and comment on the video. That helps with the algorithm to get push my videos out there. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell so you know every time I post, okay? Because we on a roll. I'm on a roll, honey. Posting every week. I'm on a roll. So make sure y'all do that. And also... Make sure y'all follow my other social medias at Bree Elise on Instagram, Bree Elise on Facebook, and at Bree underscore Elise on TikTok and Snapchat. So we're going to get right into it. And while I'm doing this, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm going to be taking my hair down. I had it in a ponytail because I was washing my face and stuff to get ready to film. Yeah, so I'm about to take down this updo because it's well overdue. What made me think of this story time is the reason why I have a hair bow holding everything together versus the rubber band that my hairstyles put in it. Yeah, I had to take down the rubber band and I thought I was gonna take down my hair early because, uh, because of what happened. But anyway, let me get right into it. I feel like I'm rambling. Let me go ahead and take down my hair, y'all. Sometimes I'll be having a hard time with multitasking, but let me take let me take the bow out of it. Okay, so I'm about to tell y'all a story time on how Burger King poisoned me, okay? This happened about one or two weeks after I had my baby. So me and my boyfriend gets Burger King's breakfast. We like Burger King's breakfast, okay? And one day we went to Burger King. We got, he got a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant with no egg. And I had got a chicken croissant meal with hash browns. You know, the, the meal comes with hash browns, a drink. And we also get a French toast sticks. We got like three French toast sticks, right? So we go through the drive-thru. They already tell me in the drive-thru that they're gonna have to drop the chicken fresh, okay? For the chicken croissant. So I'm like, okay, I can wait. Cause that's what I really want, right? So I go through the drive-thru, pay for my food. And once I get to the window, um, they give me my food and I leave out of the drive-thru and I go into the parking lot and park because I always check my food. Make sure y'all always check out food because they be tripping. It's multiple times I had to call corporate. Um, they don't believe you. Um, you have to come all the way back to the place and get, get what they were supposed to get right the first time. And I got tired of do, doing that. So I always check my food. Okay, so I check my food and I noticed instead of three French soap sticks that I ordered, I only seen two, right? So I only seen two. So I was like, okay, let me go back around the drive through so I'm, I'm, I'm telling the lady at the window, hey, they forgot one of my one of my French toast is. And she said, okay, hold on. So she goes to get the manager, which I don't even know why she had to go get the manager, but maybe that was protocol. I don't know. Maybe she thought I was lying. Maybe it was protocol. I don't know. So I went ahead. Um, I talked to the manager. I said, hey, you know, I ordered three French toast sticks. And I only got two of them. And she said, oh no, I made sure I put three French toasts in there. It's in the bag. I said, okay, let me double check. Let me double check. Maybe I overlooked it. So I did look through the bag again in front of the manager. And, she, and I told her, I'm still seeing two French toasts. I don't see three. I said, there is an extra hash brown in there but it's not a French toasted. Can y'all please give me my French toasted? So she's arguing me down. No, I put it in there. I made sure it was another French toasted in there. And I said, ma'am, you can look through the bag yourself, okay? Because I, I really don't have a reason to lie. Uh, I didn't spend over $30 with y'all 
with this meal and I'm gonna lie about a French toasted that maybe was two, three dollars? Come on now. Do the math. Cause the math ain't mathing. Why would I still why would I want y'all to give me an extra French toasted when I already done paid over thirty dollars for the food? Trust me, I don't have enough time to be playing with y'all at this at this Burger King like that today, okay? All I'm gonna do is get the food that I ordered and leave and go eat it with my boyfriend, right? So she finally, finally after arguing me down about the French toasted, she finally gave me a French toasted and I left, right? So I left and get home and you know, I'm taking the stuff out, giving my boyfriend his food and I'm getting out my food. So I noticed, I said, wait a minute. This, the extra hash brown was actually the French toasted that she said she put in there. I said, oh man, I feel so bad. Um, the French toasted was in there. It was just in there with the hash browns. So that's why I thought it was a full of hash browns instead of hash browns and French toasted. Cause that's what it was in there, hash browns and French toasted. So I said, dang, I feel bad. Um, I argued that woman down and it was it was in them. It was so many tater tots in them or hash browns. Hold on y'all, my boyfriend called me. Okay, so going back to what I was saying. So I get home and like I said, gave my boyfriend his food and I get out my food. I noticed that one of the hash browns actually was the french toasted it just had hash browns on top and french toasted at the bottom so she was right she was right she did give me three french toasted i didn't notice it because i was only looking at the top top of the container that it was in right or top of the carton y'all know what i'm talking about with the hash browns come inside or the french toasted so I was like, dang, I feel bad. I feel bad that um, she probably think I'm lying. She probably think I'm trying to get over on Burger King. You know, I felt bad about it, right? But whatever, it is what it is. I know what I saw and that was the hash browns on top. I didn't look through the whole thing to notice that there were French toast sticks at the bottom. I noticed that my chicken croissant was not hot. It wasn't piping hot, and I don't stay far. I don't stay far from the Burger King I went to. So, it wasn't piping hot like I thought it was gonna be because they said they dropped it fresh. And I said, well, I was like, let me get them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, and, and keep in mind, I felt bad about what happened because technically, she probably looked at it as a lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get more food out of them. Which wasn't the case because I thought it was a hash brown instead of a French toasted. So, I was like, mm, maybe the croissant, maybe they had an extra one. Maybe they thought they had to drop it fresh and they didn't have to. Because I didn't wait that long for my food. I maybe waited an extra two, two minutes, two, three minutes. It wasn't long. So, I said, okay. So, I eat the chicken croissant, right? And all my food. So, my stomach started rumbling and I was like, oh, you know, maybe I just need to do a number two. And I was holding Noah, I was holding him, you know, rocking him to sleep after I ate. And I was like, hold up, I feel like I'm about to throw up. So, I throw up, like my body rejected that chicken croissant and all that food just rejected it. it just threw, I just threw up so much like a lot so i was like okay and then i had the worst when i say the worst headache of my life the worst headache and i took some tylenol that didn't work i'm gonna tell you something tylenol if you have a headache don't take tylenol unless you're pregnant and that's the only thing you can get your best bet is to get benadryl if you're pregnant and um but make sure you make sure you talk to your doctor make sure you can take benadryl but i could they said i could have benadryl it wasn't a problem but 
the store I went to didn't have Benadryl, so I had to take Tylenol. Tylenol did not work. I still had a headache. Headache. This headache was so bad. It was so bad. And y'all, after I got over it, because it was like, uh, it was the whole day. That whole day, I was through. I couldn't do nothing. And I realized they didn't cook the chicken the chicken all the way on the chicken croissant. They didn't, they couldn't have. They couldn't have cooked it all the way. Because if they did, I wouldn't have had no problems. But yeah, they poisoned me. Because that chicken croissant, mm -mm, that chicken was not all the way done. It wasn't. So make sure. That if they tell you something gonna be dropped fresh, make sure it's hot. Cause if it ain't hot, it ain't dropped fresh. It ain't. Cause anytime something dropped fresh, it's gonna be piping hot when you get it. And it was, and mine was not. And I tried to get them the benefit of the doubt because I felt bad about the um, French toasted situation. So I got about half of my hair taken down. I guess I'll do the other half of my hair um off camera but yeah that's that's the story time of how burger king poisoned me y'all make sure y'all be careful out here because these fast food restaurants they ain't nothing to play with you can get sick and then another thing too if one of the workers get mad at you at a fast food restaurant do not eat their food or if you talking to one of the workers crazy do not eat their food <laughs> do not eat their food. Technically, she couldn't have done nothing with my food because I had already got my food before I told them about how they forgot my French toasted. And they didn't take my food when I told her to look at it. She didn't take it. She just went ahead and gave me a French toasted. But if she did, I wouldn't have ate that food. But they was trying. My thing is with fast food restaurants. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. With fast food restaurants, instead of you trying to hurry up and get the customer out, I rather I rather just wait. I rather wait until you have the meat cooked all the way through before you give it to me. Don't be trying to rush around with my food. Please don't. Take your time because I don't want to get sick. I do not want to get sick. So please take your time. I thought that chicken croissant was going to take me out. I was like, dang. I, I thought that was gonna be be the last last thing I ate for life. <laughs> because when I tell you, my stomach was hurting, my head was hurting so bad. It felt like if my head was gonna pop off my neck. I don't know. But let me know what y'all think of the story time. Let me know if some um interactions y'all done had with a restaurant that was crazy let me know in the comments down below because i'm pretty sure y'all done had some situations with some restaurants like i have but that's the end of this story time so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe thank y'all so much for continuing to watch my video help you get help your girl get to 500 subscribers because we almost there we more than halfway to 500 subscribers so keep subscribing and i will see y'all in the next video Bye.